this episode of What's Happening in Social Media. I'm your host, Greg Joseph Daly. This episode I want to talk to you about a couple of the things that are new to the world of social media this week. I want to share to you why Pinterest is a great marketing tool for businesses, and I'll share with you one of the fun digital toys that was just released this week. So let's get started. LinkedIn this week released its new content marketing score, which is meant to give marketing professionals a better understanding of how the content they're sharing on LinkedIn is engaging their audiences. Twitter has also added emoji support to their web interface. And let's be honest, who these days is able to communicate how we really feel without these little face guys there to help us do that. Facebook this week has also added groups to its Messenger app for iOS. So those of you who are using the Apple iPhone will now be able to categorize the people you chat with the most into groups. So let's talk about Pinterest. For those of you who are just joining the Pinterest scene, I want to answer a question for you. What is Pinterest? Pinterest is a social networking site centered around people pinning and sharing images of the content they value the most, such as recipes, photographs of great architecture, travel ideas, things like that. Pinterest boasts an audience of 70 million users with 2.5 billion page views a month. That's an audience that businesses should definitely tap into. So I want to share with you today five tips to help businesses tap into that huge audience. Number one, make sure that the images that you have on your website and digital channels is of the highest quality possible. That way when people find your articles and find your information, they want to pin those images and pin that information for other people to find. Number two is go onto Pinterest, create an account for yourself, and start some of your own boards centered around different product categories that you're offering to your customers. A great example of this is Target.com. They have Pinterest boards for their children's clothing, for their appliances, for their electronics, and anybody who's on Pinterest can easily go onto their boards and see all of the different products that Target is offering. That's a great use of Pinterest. Number three, I would suggest that you go on and create some boards of content that you are sharing on other social media channels. It's always a valuable rule to be cross-pollinating the information and content that you have on different channels, such as sharing your Facebook posts on Twitter, sharing your Twitter feed on your blog, taking those blog posts with your great professional images and pinning them to a board on Pinterest. So when people find your information and they repin it on Pinterest, people come back to your pin boards and are able to find all of your blog posts and are drawn back to your website. Number four, I recommend that you brand all of your images as often as you can. This is really simple. Just create a little logo or mark, maybe even a little image of your URL, and drop it into the bottom corner of the images that you're sharing online. That way when people pin them and repin them, your name and your brand and your logo is traveling all over the world of Pinterest even after it's traveled outside of your immediate sphere of influence. The fifth tip, which is my personal favorite and one that I don't see a lot of marketers using, is that on Pinterest when you share an image, there's a description box that goes with that image. And you can put a live URL back to your website in that description box. Now the images themselves are going to be live link backs to the source of that content, but here's the trick. You can put a live URL to your website in the description box of any images that you're pinning or repinning, which means the image doesn't have to have originated from you. It can be an image of the Eiffel Tower. But making a little comment about the Eiffel Tower and putting a live link back to your website there means that your URL is traveling everywhere that image of the Eiffel Tower goes. So, if you have any questions or comments about any of the information that I've shared with you today, please feel free to leave them in the comment box on YouTube. You can also go and visit my website at socialauthor.co. Now, as I promised, the last thing I want to do today is talk about one of the fun digital toys that was recently released to the world, and that toy is Melodygram. That's M-E-L-O-D-I-G-R-A-M dot com. And this is a fun app that lets you snap pictures and put music, background sounds, or even a voice memo to that photo. And then you can share that file on Facebook, on Twitter, over text message, send it via email, 
however you feel you want to do. So, I hope you enjoyed the information today. If you liked anything that I shared with you, please click the subscribe button in the YouTube channel. It's free for you and it makes a big difference for me so that people have an easier way of finding me. Thank you very much.